Hey, what's going on? This is Marcos. Today we'll be taking a look at the DF Digital Photo Chameleon Mini. This is an RGB tube that's rechargeable. And before we get into all the specs and the features, I just want to put out a disclaimer that this product was sent to me for review. All right, so uh, first of all, the built-in battery, it's awesome for running gun situations. I've been out in the wilderness where there's no access to power or, or a plug, right? And so you definitely need to carry lights that you can power either with V-mount or that already have the battery built in. And most of the time when I'm in, this situ in those situations, I end up using my uh, lights that have the battery built in. It's just easier to set up, it's very easy to throw on. Actually, the ones I use a lot are the ones behind me. These are the original DF Digital Photo Chameleon lights. Uh, those are the two foot ones. And I use it to bring up the ambience in a room, uh, put a pop of light or maybe a hair light on a subject. Um, those are the kind of situations where I use them. Uh, this one right here, this is 17 inches from here to here, and it's about 23 inches in total length. Uh, I'm guessing the battery's in here. This side in the front, let me turn it on. That's, this, this side is the bicolor. Right now it's set to 2500 Kelvin at 1%. Let me turn it up to 100 just so you can see. It's very bright light. Turn it back down. See that? Back to 1%. Now let's go to up in temperature. Now it's at 8,500 Kelvin. You see that? And then I can also turn up the intensity so you can see how bright it can get. So pretty intense light at full power. Uh, full charge, running at 100%, it can last up to four hours, which is incredible. Okay, so there's a little button in the back that says, let me turn it around. Another great thing before we get there is that they put a quarter inch at the bottom, which is awesome for quickly mounting on to any quarter inch. Uh, it's just easier. I, I have other tubes and they don't have this uh, quarter inch at the bottom. You need to put a bracket on it or find some kind of grip equipment. This is actually much easier, more useful. So I'm glad that they thought about putting a quarter inch in the bottom. So thumbs up for that. So there's this button here called F-C. F is for fine adjustment. So you can see you, you go slowly, but if you want to go fast, you put it to C and now you, you can go faster on the dial. It turns it up faster. So, and then to turn on the RGB, you press on this button here and first you encounter the HSI. This is where you can turn up the saturation of the light, the intensity, and the hue, right? And then if you click again, then there's a RGB. You can do more fine adjust adjustments there. Uh, put red, green, or blue. Um, different ways to turn up the RGB for you. Uh, click again, and then you have 10 lighting effects. There's lighting. Um, well, let me go back. Lighting. Lighting 2, cinema, police, ambulance, fire truck, fast RGB, slow RGB, and then you can turn up the, uh, the brightness level on those. Okay, so let's go back to just regular 1%, 8500 Kelvin. Flip this around. So you see there's two sides to this light. Uh, depending on what you need, you're going to either turn it one way or another. So in the box, you're gonna get the light, the charger, and the carry-on bag. Actually, let me get that. Here it is. This is the carry-on bag. You can fit both the light and the charger in here. Awesome, it's good to have a carry-on case uh, with quasars that I bought or uh, those tubes. I always have to find a way to not scratch them or buy big cases for it. So. I always love when they include a bag in there. Overall, this light is great. However, I would never use it to light up uh, faces. And that's because it, the, it's mixing the diodes, different color temperature diodes to recreate uh, certain color temperatures. And usually what that means is that you're not gonna get uh, accurate skin rendition in video. Let me show you what that means. So if I turn this on, Okay, so right now it's set to 5700 Kelvin. You might not see this because it might get blown out, but it, it's mixing two different color diodes. And usually you get a green or, or, or nasty magenta shift. It depends and it doesn't quite render skin correctly. So I usually 
never use bicolor lights for faces. I only use this to light up a background, bring up the ambience in the room, maybe put a pop of light of interest like I'm doing with these, uh, these chameleon tubes back here. But if you're using the RGB effect, then it should be fine. Those are typically more for stylistic looks. Uh, so I'm guessing it's not for beauty lighting. So the big question is, would I recommend this light? And the answer is yes, of course, rechargeable LED tubes, uh, RGB effects and all that stuff. They're incredible lights. They're very versatile. This one in particular is very easy to mount with the quarter inch at the bottom. If you have any questions about this light or there's things I forgot to mention and that you're cur curious about, please let me know down below. As always, I appreciate you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.